Hey chums, and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. Today we're going to be playing a bit of airplane mode. And from what I know of this game, it's basically a airplane simulation. And by that, I don't mean you're flying the aircraft. You're a passenger on it. So, <laughs> we're going to swipe to start here. Let's see what happens. Oh, here we go, okay. So we haven't even taken off yet. Pass me your seat belt, please. Fastened. Oh, there's people I'm flying with. There's the exit sign. Yeah, seems like a boring flight. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Oh, we got some uh, free movies here. Public domain. Watch some Bugs Bunny here. Maybe, maybe not. Hey, there we go. The Wabbit Who Came to Supper. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, the forward entry door is closed. All large electronic devices should now be shut off and stowed, and all small portable electronic devices must be set to airplane mode. Make sure your seat backs and tray tables are in their full upright and locked position, and that your seat belt is correctly fastened. Should you have any difficulty with this, please ring your call button, and a flight attendant will guide you through the process. If you've not yet done so, please stow your carry-on luggage underneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead bin, taking care not to force any item into a space that is too small for it. Then please take your seat and fasten your seatbelt. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, carefully read the safety information card located in your seat back pocket. If you do not wish, are unable, or are unwilling to perform the functions described in the event of an emergency, a flight attendant will reseat you. We remind you that this is a non-smoking flight. Smoking is prohibited on the entire aircraft, including the laboratories. Should you have any other questions about today's flight, please feel free to ask a flight attendant. Thank you. So you got all the stuff in your bag you could play with. I should just store my bag underneath the seat, but I've taken it out. I was going to see if... Ladies and gentlemen, nope. please direct your attention to the seat back monitors ahead of you for a video demonstrating the safety features of this aircraft. We recognize some of you may be frequent travelers, but this information is important and we ask for your undivided attention at this time. Here we go. Thank you for flying Love these flight videos. You, know you have many other choices, from regional carriers to national and international airlines. There we go. It's like, where is it? And that means a lot. Thank you so much. Now, before we take off, please pay attention to the following safety video. Seems off for some reason. Why is that? Next, with your left hand, pick up the buckle, and then slowly and steadily... 
steadily, move the metal end towards the buckle, keeping both ends perfectly aligned. Air if we're not buckled in by now, we definitely got a problem, that's for sure. Hey, where are my peanuts at? I want my free cookies. Hey, I need a drink. Hey. This lady seems way too interested in this video. Now it's time to get underway to your exciting destination. Whether it's sipping yep, we're moving. Paris or whale watching in Nova Scotia. Please make sure your seat is all the way up. All electronic devices are shut off and put away. And your tray table is stowed. Carry-on luggage should be placed all the way under the seat in front of you. Or be overheaded in. Got my phone. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep airplane mode off for the moment. I just want to see if there really is a catastrophic thing that will happen here. No smoking on the aircraft. My God. Normal breathing will start the flow of oxygen. Remember, put your own mask on first before helping others. We promise. No headphones found. Didn't I plug it on? Didn't I plug my headphones in? Life vest can be found next to, over, or underneath your seat. Or, in some cases, behind your seat. It depends on the model of the plane you're I have my headphones on. Do I have to plug them in as well? Do I have to turn them on? Are they Bluetooth headphones? Is that what's happening here? Hold on, let me go back. Settings. Uh, VPN, Bluetooth. Okay, Bluetooth is on. Headphones connected. Ah, I figured it out. Okay. Welcome back to Ear of the Duck. I'm your host, MC Mallard. It's June 23rd, and as always, I'm here to bring you the most exciting. Oh my god, we're still in this area. Mind-bending, grooviest electronic and experimental music. All right, we'll come back to that. service to Halifax. Our flight time today should be around two hours, maybe a little over. Uh, we'll be cruising at around 35,000 feet off the ground and uh, traveling about 575 miles per hour. I'll be back in touch if we've got any other updates for you en route. For now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Not even off the ground yet. Whenever I fly, though, this is my favorite part. I like watching the uh, takeoff. I like watching the, the ground just disappear as you lift off. Very cool feeling. But, um... Yeah, this is remarkably... 
third in line for departure right now. Should have you off the ground in a couple of minutes. Thank God. Oh, we can zoom out the window. Like so. But yeah, this is uh, taking <laughs> an immense amount of time. Why am I not surprised? So yeah, the audio syncing with the video was completely off. I don't know if that was a bug or what's going on. This monitor doesn't seem to be reacting super well to whatever I'm doing. Or maybe it's just black channels on there. Maybe that's the joke. There was a channel 8 that was working earlier, right? Alright, well, I don't know. Food. No upcoming scheduled service. In flight messaging system. moving oh my god this is just <laughs> this is just like flying a trip to the moon there we go now it's playing is he gonna give us a prepare for takeoff mention here Mariners are prepared, Tara. All right, well, we finally have things happening on screen on the different channels, so that's good. <laughs> Watch these really, really old movies. It's hilarious. Let's see. Let's see, in-flight messaging system. Let's see, can I actually type in here? It looks like I got darker outside. We're coming up to the runway here, though. Runway is right there. We must be next. Well, I can't use my keyboard. Do I have to use this thing? Can I look? Can I pull this off? Can I look at it? Or do I actually have to just press it the way it is? There we go. Okay. Now we've got it. So now you could use it as like a gamepad, it looks like. Ah. Alright. Take me back to... in-flight messaging system. I think we're getting ready to take off here, though. Haven't been prepared for take off. Ah! That's weird. Whenever I put in an N to spell when, it does a 750? No idea. Put it away. We gotta watch the takeoff. Oh, here we go. Okay, remember, I did not put my phone into airplane mode.
Yeah, that, that weird thing that the wing does when it's about to take off. Where it's all bouncy and you're like, is it gonna, <laughs> it's gonna break off? What's happening? Whoa! I think it just lifted right off. Look at that. Bye bye city. Bye bye lights. And we take off. Flight progress, 0%. So, I'm under the impression that this actually flies in real time. When he said it's like a two hour something flight, at the beginning of this game, you actually select the flight you want. One was like a five hour in change flight, and one was a two hour in change flight. Um, yeah. So while this is kind of nifty, I'm kind of wondering who this is aimed at, <laughs> if that makes sense. Maybe this is uh, aimed at uh, a game for people who haven't flown before. It's because it is pretty realistic to what you're going to expect. I mean, there's a lot more talking on the plane normally. There's a lot more people being rude on the plane, I would say. Um, nobody kicked my seat by this point, you know. Uh, the person in front of me hasn't lowered their seat back yet. So that hasn't happened yet. Uh, so it's not completely realistic, but it's it's pretty realistic, like timing wise. We're still at a zero percent. Oh boy, Ugh. just makes me tired thinking about it. I don't know what this little button is. Oh, we hit a one percent. Whoa. And there we go. So I guess that's the game. Even though I didn't turn airplane mode on with my phone. Nothing bad has happened. So I, I don't know. I guess that's all just a joke. Oh, you can plug in your USB. Look at that, we can charge our phone. How amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Um, hmm. Well, there you go, guys. We have boarded the plane. We didn't even get to board the plane. They should make you do everything. Like, check in, get your baggage set up, rush your ass over to, the <laughs> to where your, your gate is at to get out of the plane. They should make you have to do all that stuff. Oh, my God. It definitely made me tired, though. Like, just waiting on the plane. Like, I always feel sleepy right before takeoff there because it takes so long. But I don't know what else is supposed to happen here. I guess the flight attendant's going to come by with some drinks at some point. Can I get up? Okay, so I can take off my seatbelt. Um, she's still messing with her monitor even though nothing is on it. I can't touch that person's. I was hoping you'd be able to mess with people in here or something, but it seems like very straightforward so hmm that's a little disappointing but yeah for those of you who might have a relative who's afraid to fly maybe this is like actually a good introductory for them to learn about how it all works and how you know how a takeoff feels and all that stuff i could see this being very you know i could see this being remarkably powerful for somebody like that in vr if you had a vr headset and you had them wear it i could see that really working but, yeah, I think that is going to be, I think that's going to about do it for me here, because uh, I'm not sure that I want to sit here for two hours on a flight that I'm not actually taking. Um, but yeah, guys, hey, I'm going to take this time to remind you to subscribe to us here at Video Chums, because we come out with cool Let's Plays. Whether this one's a cool Let's Play, I'm not sure. I hope this one helped you out in some way. But we come out with other cool Let's Plays all the time and other gameplay videos as well. And of course, don't forget to check out my own personal YouTube channel at youtube.com slash watchggrc because I have all kinds of other gaming videos there that I think you'll enjoy. So subscribe to both channels. I don't think you'll be sorry. I think you'll enjoy both. And of course, chums, I'll see you all next time.